on my channel you'll notice that I do a lot of videos about future technology and stuff because we haven't heard of a lot of things that we are really in need of right now. I am relentlessly every single day thinking about it and researching it. And this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. I promise you'll find things that you'll you've never heard of before. You'll you'll find things that will absolutely excite you and also look down in the links below you'll see all of the references and all of the people who I believe are honest people trying to get this stuff out I'm gonna do this regardless if I have money or not but I do have a patreon uh, and I also have a PayPal uh, for a one payment donation if you want to so I know I've said all this stuff before in other videos but this one I just wanted to recap in the direction of housing and kind of for new people who haven't been to my channel yet so starting from the top down um, this is a shed I built <clears throat> with these types of things in mind so as I research I'm gonna implement them on here of course we've heard of solar but have you heard of a uh, air well that is basically kind of a solar slash dehumidifier type of technology where it collects water out of the air and then it puts it in a little tank and um, basically you've heard of that concept before but we're talking about the potential of this stuff and then the second thing is the gravity fed water system that I have here inside this this uh, tiny house shed thing and I've been using it for over a year and it's been great I have my shower, I have my sink, I have hot water, and that leads to the hot water system. If you take a, a chemical sprayer type thing, they, they make them in metal so you can actually heat them up. Um, I use a plastic one and I heat it up with a crock pot that I modified. And it works great. And you'll be able to use that on, uh, on a, in a solar situation. With that chemical sprayer, you can tap it tap it with a, a nozzle at the bottom and you could either have it as a gravity fed system and if you don't have anywhere to hang it up like you're, if you're camping or something you could pressurize it so those things are pretty awesome and you could use it completely off grid and we can plot apply all these things to a home it doesn't have to be a camper it doesn't have to be a camping situation uh, the next thing is taking care of sewer and water, bl uh, black water and the gray water. Um, there's a, I've talked about incinerating toilets before, that's one option, and but the more advanced uh, toilet that I actually ran into, um, and you're not, chances are you're not going to hear about this, and I already did a video about this, is a gas oxidizing toilet. And another way of terming that is an HHO generator toilet so look up HHO generator uh, DIY uh, you can look those up you can make these things yourself some people apply it into uh, cars and it it creates the hydrogen and oxygen because it splits the water and it supplements your car and people get amazing gas mileage out of it it exists, it works, I know it works, and uh, they could apply it in that. So take that technology and put it into this gas oxidizing toilet or the HHO generator toilet, and you'll have the ability to take care of any kind of sewage water, any urine, fecal matter, uh, gray water, uh, anything, and you could actually put a bidet on it and it'll process everything so think of that potential just I, I want to emphasize this enough <laughs> so you catch on to what I'm saying the think of that potential you don't have to use a black water tank gray water tank septic system or sewer and it sanitizes it immediately from the oxygen that produces that it produces and it uh, takes care of the smell and you could use it on solar and you don't need a big electricity system or you don't need a uh, don't need to use propane and also it generates the hydrogen as well 
so that gas you could use that utilize it in a uh, to heat your whatever home or whatever heat water with or whatever once you burn the the oxygen hydrogen gas then you, it'll turn right back into water you could uh, it'll be sanitary enough to drink so that's what I wanted to mention about all this stuff this technology is out there we know it it's just a matter of if you know somebody who's an engineer who's uh, man who is a uh, machinist or a person who just really wants to help you out with it we can make this stuff out of household items out of things that are just laying around really um, not too expensive it'll free us up uh, from the grid completely and I've mentioned um, using thermal heat from the from the earth and utilizing it in a, a heat pump technology, which is basically a air conditioning technology um, that'll pull heat from the earth that's there all the time, even in the winter. And, and do not ever listen to naysayers, even the mainstream stuff that we've heard about. If you've heard about it, chances are there's some kind of, you know, strings attached to it. So I'm looking for the stuff we haven't really heard about and um, just ignore the naysayers and like and just go with your imagination think about the potential of it and think about how to make it work and don't listen to people who are saying that it won't work so god bless you in your search and hopefully this helps and uh, if you feel a little desire to donate anything in my patreon or paypal Go ahead and do so. It'll help me a lot in my research and also development of these things. God bless.